Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as the Dahakor family with me, Grey Hunter. Where last time around I said we were going to smack Gotland up a bit because Gotland is getting a little bit irritating. And I put a little bit of thought into that and I realised that what we really should do is, as our first action, we should fabricate a claim on... Something we want to keep. Uh... Yeah? I could see Nottiborg being nice. We'll, we'll fabricate a claim on that. And the reason we're going to do that is obviously because our, uh, our claim on Agda runs out the very day that our truce does, and I don't want to get caught by the game deciding, oh well, you clearly can't declare war the day that your truce is up. Um, we are also going to send this army over here to Osterbotten, because we need to prepare for sieges and stuff, and you can sit in there. The Baltic fleet will sit over here, and the transport fleet will sit over here. Now, other stuff that I did while I was uh, thinking about what I was going to do for the next video, and uh, I went ahead and I renamed every single army and fleet that we've got, except for these guys, because they're heading back to join up with this army, and this fleet, because obviously they are a fleet. And I believe the Manila Garrison also... Yes, there we go. Now everybody is named, or if they aren't named, they're, uh, uh, they're going to join somebody else. So that'll keep track of things when we uh, when we encounter... Oh, hello. La... 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 Zang? How would you say that? I don't know. La... La... Zang, I guess, maybe? Um... But yes, I have a new plan, and the new plan is to attack Gotland, take Gotland's uh, Agda, but give Agda back to Norway instead. Because I'm thinking that seeing as their current opinion malice of us is negative 54 for having not given them land last time we beat up on Agda, the, uh, last time we beat up on Gotland, sorry, that actually belonged to them, this time we're going to do that. We're going to go here, have this, and hopefully that'll eliminate that minus 60. We'll be able to give them a little bit of money, and then boom, everything's happy. I'm not going to fully annex Scotland. I think I'm just going to take out this for ourselves and leave this, take this, and uh, at some point in the future when we have the ability to um, make client states we will throw all of this over to our big client state of Scandinavia that we will form. Now, something else that I do want to do, we aren't going to build... Oh hey, this is our mission, right? That was still technically our mission? Construct a shipyard objective, have at least one naval base, you know what? I know we're going to give it away. But I mean, why not? It's right there. Um. What was I going to do? I was going to build barracks and stuff. I will build a few more training fields, though. I'm going to build them here, like this. I'm pretty sure we just lost the chance to upgrade our military tech, but I also don't want to be too far ahead of everybody because, you know, we're already huge and powerful and stuff, so I am okay with losing out on that. Let's just build like this. Cool, cool. Now, we can invest in new technology. The Chebec? Really? Well, that is excellent, because I need that. Grodno received a gift from Poland. Intriguing. Um... Ooh. And now they're vassals. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, are you my rival still? You are. That is unfortunate. We need to make friends. Do I want this? Um, how old is Emma right now? 32. That could last a while, and it could get us all these people converted, so yes. Yeah, there we go, that's good. Oh dear, we lost some diplomatic reputation for the next five years. Joy. I do hate employing babbling buffoons. And we're going to have some provincial, some provincial uprest, are we? Hmm. Protestant zealots. Oh, right, of course, because we are, yeah. 
we're anti we're anti Protestant right now. It should be okay though. Now our truce should be done. Can I have nice things? Oh, are we allowed to have nice things? Breaking truce. I. <laughs> Alrighty then. Can we have nice things now? Okay, what? Now I'm confused. 22nd of October. Oh, it's in a year. Okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was all confuzzled for a moment. I was like, what? How come? Alright, so while we're waiting for that, we will concentrate on building up our forces. And we will grab one, two units of infantry and one unit of cavalry in the Cape Colony. We will also upgrade our land clearances. Hooray. Good job. Statesman gains power. No, we need him. He's important to us because diplomatic reputation is good. He is important to us. We also need him for his ex excellent, excellent ability to generate us some of these points. I wonder, should I? No. No, because it'll take a while. Anyway, how many years until we actually are able to get it? Yeah, like 20, so that's okay. We'll hold off. We will wait until... Oh dear, General Constantine Heliogelabus. We need a new one of you. Yes. Which army was he leading? Oh, this one. So not the most important, but still useful. Alrighty. Now that we're actually in the right year, um, should I be... I kind of want to support the rebels instead. Oh, hey. Attacker against Manchu. The Battle of Mysore, huh? I don't even know what I was fighting against there. Rebels, obviously, but I don't know who's. Um, yes. Convert that. Now, we should be basically at the end of the, uh, the Reformation period where people will just spontaneously convert my provinces. We should be about at the end of that. So we should be able to just make everybody into good Catholics by doing this. I'm hoping. Alright, there we go. Now that we're in the right year and it's almost time, we're going to kick back up the army expenditures, expenditure. We're going to throw down... Yeah, that's fine. We're going to throw down the navy expenditure because we don't really need the navy to be super fantastic right now. And we are going to war deck these people. Oh hey, Norway will help us. Perfect. That's even better. Declare war. Advance, advance, go forth. So we might not even need this army to go and conquer Agda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're upset with me, I know. Um, yeah, I don't really care about that particular fight. Yes, it is of the utmost importance. Um, that navy could be a problem. Do we have the ships in here to take it out? Probably. I mean, yeah. Let's go. Let's go and try. Um, yes to the administration. I like administration. The Battle of Vastabotten is over. I don't even know what we fought over there. Oh, yes I do. <laughs> we fought their army. Fancy that. Um, I don't know where you went, but I'm assuming you went to Riga. And if you went to Riga, then you can be penned up inside. Yes. Perfect. Oh, hey, we completed our mission. And we are now able to get line infantry. Uh, I will think about that in a second. First things first, get into China, huh? Mission succeeds when the following criteria are met. At least one province in the Chinese coast and you would gain 10 prestige or improve our relations with Madurai, who is one of our protectorates. Yeah, it could be useful. We should really be spending some of this. Um, we'll become the Papal Controller, which gives plus five prestige. You know what? We're going to go with get into China. We now have the ability to declare war on China and just take their land if we want, but we're not going to. We're going to uh, probably just take Taiwan. Um, 
Let's see now. Okay, so we built up all of these. Now we're going to build up barrackses. Because I do not particularly need to uh, expand our force limits a lot because it'll grow naturally anyway over time. But I am going to build up these simply so that we have about a thousand units able to be built because occasionally, you know, I'm assuming at some point Russia is going to make itself into a nuisance and we're going to have to deal with that. And I'd rather be able to raise an army and not be going ridiculously over my force limits than have to, you know, raise an army and be going ridiculously over my force limits. You are going to go over to Gotland. Uh, not Gotland, not a bog. I need you to go over there and take it. And we just lost a seat of a cardinal, but it's okay, because we're one of the only Catholic powers, so it'll come back. Now, how do we go? Native assimilation in Swellendam. Some of the local natives have assimilated. Excellent. This pleases me. The cape is fairly simple to, uh... To... Oh, it did build three units of cavalry. I thought so. Okay, you know what? Pause that. You go away. And can I have my reform tertio this time, please? Thank you. Um, oh. I clicked the wrong button. Go away. Alright, we're going to call this... The Cape Colony garrison. Done deal. And eventually they will, you know, be a thing. Uzbek, huh? How is, how are the Timurids going? Not so well. Yeah, they're going to have a couple of problems. They are going to have a few problems. That's okay. It's not out. It's not a thing we have to deal with. Fortification efforts are always worthwhile. Now, we do have to take out this place. Siege of Lapland is over. Hooray! You can go help. And we are going to have to take Agda, but... Fortunately, Agda is being taken over by our Norwegian friends. We may have to go take out Riga, but we might be able to just, you know, kick the crap out of them. And be happy like that. Oh, good. We have a few more people being converted. Yeah, we really don't tolerate Protestantism in our particular country. Obviously. Units have suffered casualties. We could probably just assault this place. But I'm not... Yeah, I'm not going to bother. It should just continually win fairly well. Hooray, we did it. Now, you need to be converted. This fleet should fall fairly quickly. Oh, they did take it. Excellent. Uh, that means you can come over here. And you can head back over to Stockholm. And this should surrender fairly quickly. Yeah, there we go. 42%? Perfect. Come on. A new cardinal is now active in Prussia. Always handy. And ivory, yes! That's perfect. Okay, so the, the colonies... Some of them have colonial regions. Most of them that are colonial regions are over in the New World, but um, their wares are a little bit less useful, I find, in the hands of your people than uh, just leaving it in the hands of the colonies and taxing it. But Africa has ivory and gold in fairly huge abundance comparatively, so I like being able to just... Uh, administer that particular area myself. Now, if we wanted to have peace, we could... Yes, you'll cede that to Norway. You'll cede this to us. You will... Oh, there are no cores. You will revoke a core in Os Osel. You will revoke a core in... No. Oh, you could become a Roman vassal. I don't know. Do I want to do that? Do I want to enforce that? I mean, like, yeah, it'll take a while. Um, you know what? No. 
No, I don't want you to become a vassal. Oh, wait, hang on, wait. Can I? Hmm. If they become my vassal, I think I can just integrate them. Even though they are a merchant republic. This is worth doing science on. I think. Because, I mean, if the answer is no... Hmm. How many diplomatic actions am I currently taking? Four out of five. I have one with Norway, one with Poland, one with Polotsk, and one with Japan. So I do have one to spare. Yeah, let's do science. Let us do science. You need to sail over here. And you need to move like that. We're going to be scientific now. Hello. Yeah, that, that fleet really shouldn't have come out. You fools. Now, Riga should fall fairly quickly. Um, we have managed to... Oh, good. Chell, no. There we go. And how goes the rebellion? Eh, they're alright. They're not being too successful. I'm okay with this. That would actually prevent having to fight a war as well. I can I can live with this. Um, give it to the administration, please. You will go sit over here. Now, hopefully, Norway will transfer this over to me. If they don't, I might transfer it over to like I might just say that Gotland has to give it up to them instead and take the rest of Gotland for myself because I really don't want to have a border with Polotsk right there because you know they they don't like me very much currently yeah I know a peace offer but no and the Timurids want military access no I'm sorry guys you invaded us once remember oh hello 200 settlers will arrive in hold on relax Re relax uh, yes, I want that to happen. What the hell did you do? Oh, you assaulted. Okay. There, there. Um. They arrived. Ew. There. Yes, go. That should increase slowly. And we will begin converting that place. Alrighty, now, Gotland. You are going to give Agda to Norway, you're going to give Nottebog to me. I mean, mm, well, maybe. Maybe I should just annex them, like, including Nottebog. How much would that cost me if I did that? Would that change anything? No, not really. Yeah, do that. Do that then. Um, and you'll give up claims everywhere. Actually, you'll, you'll keep your claims on me. Oh, I can't force them to revoke a call like that. Okay. Well, in that case, yes, you'll give up all your claims on me as well. Um, yeah, send demand. Welcome to the Empire. Alright. Terms. Gotland will cede, will cede Adger to Norway. Gotland will become a vassal of the Roman Empire. Gotland gives up all claims in Norway and the Roman Empire. This peace will cost the Roman Empire 50 diplomatic power, and with the conquest of Cassus Belli, we gain 10 prestige and suffer 12 aggressive expansion relations penalty. That's okay. We can work with that now. What are we up to? It was not given... Ha. Huh. Shouldn't that have given you your land back, and you should like me now? I feel like something went wrong. But anywho, yes. Pick them and pick Ali's. Let's let it roll over to the next month and see if that helps. Guys, remember that one time that I gave you land back? Gave province in the peace, but. These guys. These guys. 
Alright, fair enough. Fair enough, I guess. Okay. Anywho, um, we are going to... You know, actually, you can stay there. So can the Baltic Fleet. Everybody else can just, you know, wander on back this way. That is irritating. But I suppose it can't be helped. Um, you are going to improve relations there, please. We need them to like us. They're not going to like us very much very soon. But I'm okay with playing the long game in this one. I'm alright with waiting a while before forming Scandinavia. I just want Gotland under control. Um, let's have a looky. Is there anything else that we immediately want to do? I don't think so. I think we've, uh, I think we've achieved everything that I was hoping to do in this episode, so I'm going to call this one to a close, and next time we are going to go and probably deal with this. This, this worries me. Oh, hello. They're currently at war with Ming. This is excellent. This is excellent news. Some people say it's dishonorable to fight, you know, a foe who can't fight back. I say that's good business. Um, you are going to have to split off a few more of your troops, I think. You're going to have to... You know what? Actually, we're going to do that in the next episode. Because I'm going to have a little bit of a think. So, until then, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. And, uh, great hunter.